All right, I got everything taped off. And I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to cover my counters in acrylic black paint because I already have it on hand. And then I'm gonna go back over with like a uh, can of black spray paint. And then I'm going to use the coolest thing ever. Um, I found some marbling spray paint, which I used when I did my other counters. And I'm gonna use a roller. You can see I've already kind of got it. Um, it's kind of wet already, see? Eat! Because we're about to get going! And I've got my hair up in a bun so that I don't get it everywhere. I don't want to get myself covered in paint. So, wish me luck! So, I tend to jump into projects sometimes a little too quickly. I like to, I get really excited and I just go ahead and jump right in and start working on it. And in this case, I started painting immediately without really thinking about the trim. And so by the time I got ready to do the trim, I painted myself and then I had to go back and repaint the things that I had already painted. So I wanted to show you what I got done. So this is what it looks like with the um, acrylic paint that I used. Um, it looks pretty good. Excuse my dirty dishes. I had to stop and make pizza and, you know, feed the kids because this is a long project. It's a really dry mat right here that you can see. Um, all right, so I've got everything covered. I've got my sink covered. I've got blankets on my cabinets to make sure I'm not painting stuff I'm not supposed to be. Even my, my uh, stove and oven are covered. Everything's boarded up, so we should be safe. All right, so this is gonna be the spray that I'm using. It's a gloss. Should go wood metal and more, so hopefully it'll stick easily to my countertops. This is going to give it that nice shiny look that I want. And then we will go back and we will um, give it the marble look. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to be using when I get ready to do that next. So that was a big mistake. Um, the counters look nice. Definitely got kind of a glossy look to them. Didn't realize that using this spray can, it, it, it went everywhere, like everywhere. Um, I didn't really get anything on the walls. Um, so I mean like the cabinets and everything seemed fine, but it just went, it settled, the mist settled down and like I was like why are my feet sticking to the floor because I'm in my house so I'm walking around barefoot and then I saw black footprints on the floor I I don't have any idea I guess because it's a spray it's an aerosol it just settled and I started tracking it around and now I've spent the last 30 minutes using what is this goof off on my floor to try to get all the paint off the floor and you can't really see paint you can't really see it but as soon as i started walking it started tracking and then there was paint everywhere i just want to stop but i can't i've got to press on this is what i found online it's called marble effect spray um i used montana cans and it's gonna give the counter that decorative marble look um because i'm not rich and I'm gonna basically be decorating my whole house on a budget so I can't afford new countertops so I'm going to make my own countertops and you basically have to shake this up for like a minute so I'm gonna pause and I'll come right back to you guys all right guys so it's been a little over a minute I'm gonna go ahead and I want you guys to see just how awesome this is okay Oh, well, that's not as awesome as I wanted it to be, but here. There, isn't that cool? I love this stuff, guys. I could play with this all day. And so I kind of spray it up so that it kind of falls and settles down on the on the countertops. Um Probably gonna have to push these back with my broom when I want to get the corner in there. See how it kind of got way back there. So it looks like it just kind of flows a little bit. I love it. Okay, let's see. 
don't want to get too much in one spot, so I'm going to stop there for a second. And it's supposed to kind of give it that vein look. I don't know, I really like it, guys. Get the side there. Make it blend in. It's probably as close as I'm going to get on that area. Yeah. A little bit more. I'm happy with that. And let's do this side. I'm trying to stay stand further back because when I get further back, I get a better stream, less of the mist. But that's okay. I really like it. And I'm getting the corners here too, as you can see. Probably got a little fade wave right here, but that's okay. That's covered up, so. there so it looks like it kind of goes all the way around yeah and I think I'll have to let you guys go so that I can get kind of closer in these back corners well, I guess I can fit it in here Let's turn it sideways like that oh yeah Looks so good, guys. Look at this. I'm loving it. Over here. Guys, I'm really excited about this. Alright, and so after this, um, I've actually got a lot of polyurethane. I've seen people use epoxy, but I don't have epoxy. And again, I'm doing this on a budget. So this is where I'm at. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I love spraying this stuff. I have to stop because I know I'm going to go crazy. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. I will probably show more tomorrow. Um, enjoy. Enjoy.